What's cracking, guys? Omar Esop here, here at Fortis Fitness, the greatest gym in Canada of all time. Behind me, we got some new things going on. We built, uh, Sean built, uh, the owner, some new weightlifting platforms. We got some new power racks, always getting better around here. And that's kind of the topic for today's video. The title, bodybuilding, powerlifting, and weightlifting. There is more than meets the eye, like Transformers, right? There's far more commonalities between bodybuilding, powerlifting, and weightlifting than a lot of people think. I think it's a common misconception uh, that if someone squats or even if they deadlift or perhaps if they bench press that they are doing it purely for powerlifting. If you want to get bigger, you should be doing the bench press. You should be squatting. If you want to get better at weightlifting, you need to be squatting. There are far more common outs. So the question that I received a lot since I announced, you know, I'm getting into weightlifting, I'm going full potato into it. Uh, how am I going to keep up the bodybuilding? Uh, am I going to get weaker? A lot of different questions. And the answer is this. I'm not going to be getting weaker. Maybe the bench press a little bit because I'm not bench pressing as frequently, maybe one time a week. But once again, I feel like I'll be able to maintain my bench press strength. Uh, and even if I do an eight to 10 week block, let's say a year from now on the bench press, I'll be able to get back to my number. So I'm not concerned about that. The squat, on the other hand, I'm squatting at least four times a week. In fact, this new training block that Coach Brian has me under, I'm lifting eight times a week, four days, twice a day. So I'm squatting a lot. If anything, my squat is going to blow up. Recently, with all the mobility work, uh, my front squat feels stronger than ever. Now, my goal before was 400 pounds uh, with a belt, with knee sleeves, with some cheater knee sleeves on, on the front squat. Now, it's going to be 400 pounds. Rah! Right? No belt, no knee sleeves, no wraps, no shirt, no pants. Rah! Paleo, like done in the jungle, right? There are no weight classes in the jungle. Uh, but what I was gonna say is that my squat has definitely improved. The deadlift, because also you're pulling from the ground, yes, Weightlifting, when it comes to the pull, as uh, the deadlift is called, it is different than the conventional deadlift. But once again, there's a lot of commonality. And the idea of explosiveness in weightlifting is carrying over. My problem when it came to the deadlift was always breaking the floor, which is kind of interesting because normally you see that more in sumo. But that's my issue. Already from all the mobility work, getting in that comfortable position, making it feel uh, easier to get into, and all the explosive work, the bottom position where I was weakened, feel stronger. So when I say there's more commonality, than people think I really 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 mean it right I'm not gonna be getting any weaker when it comes to the big movements the same idea when people ask me oh well what about aesthetics right and the answer is this on my off days I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of bodybuilding stuff right my biceps my triceps the chest the back the delts not the calves but everything else and when I say hey we look, there's a lot of similarities here. Just to name a couple examples when it comes to weightlifting. Klokov, one of the best current weightlifters, right now he's retired, but he just did a bodybuilding show. Chinese weightlifters, they do a lot of bodybuilding movements, right, as part of the program for weightlifting. And when it comes to powerlifting, we know the exact same thing. If you want to get stronger, having a bigger muscle certainly helps. So more similarities than there are differences. I think only on the internet we focus on the differences, right? We have these social identities like, oh man, I'm a powerlifter, now he's a weightlifter, fuck that. Or like, he's a bodybuilder, oh that's stupid, they're stepping on stage. I think really when it comes to the gym, when it comes to people training, when it comes to the evolution of your own training, when you look at the uh, lifetime goals that you have, there's far more similarities. And I will say, I want everybody to post in the comment section below how old you are and where you see yourself in your, you know, your fitness goals five to 10 years from now. Because if you identify yourself, a lot of people, maybe they identify themselves as powerlifters, ask yourself, where are you, what are you gonna be doing in five to 10 years, right? You uh, deadlift 600 pounds, then you're gonna be deadlifting 700 pounds. Is that what you're gonna be doing for the rest of your life? Or do you have more goals? My goal, when I uh, started this channel, if you look at the first videos, they actually were on like sprinting, or like athletics or things of that nature. Um, my goal was always athletic aesthetic, right? To have the aesthetics of bodybuilding, to look good naked, right? To have that base general strength, out of, let's say powerlifting, right? To lift some heavy shit, to be able to bench tree fitty, and also weightlifting, explosive strength, right? Athleticism, being able to do something with that body, to run fast, to jump high, to lift some weight over my head and snatch a whole lot. So athletic aesthetic was always my goal, and I think you can combine all all those. And when people say I want examples, I just name the Chinese weightlifting team that's really strong, really aesthetic, and they also are into weightlifting. Uh, Klokov. Also, if you look on YouTube alone, I'm going to shout out Clarence Kennedy, long time coming, a good Irish lad. Uh, dude can damn near deadlift over 600 pounds. He could pause squat 
almost 600 pounds, same idea, weighing just around like 210, maybe 220 pounds, and he lifts insane weights. He also can bench, I think it's 365, something like that. So the question people ask, hey man, like, you know, are you gonna be getting weaker? The answer is no. Are you gonna be getting smaller? The answer is no. I'm gonna be getting bigger, I'm gonna be getting stronger, and I'm going to be getting more athletic, which has been the goal all along. Uh, if you guys wanna see in a video, uh, perhaps in the future, how I'm combining them, the actual things I'm doing, like this video, leave a comment below, and I want most importantly everybody to post below in that comment section what your goals are, where you see yourself five to ten years from now, right? This has always been a natural evolution for me, and judging by all the comments, a lot of people they've been waiting, like they've wanted to get into weightlifting. They don't have access to a good gym, and that's a big limiting factor, and that's a damn shame when it comes to weightlifting. So post below. Guys, that is the video, bodybuilding, powerlifting, weightlifting, combining them, noticing similarities, noticing there's more than meets the eye. I'm going full potato into weightlifting. I look forward to the future. I look forward to all the content. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the damn video, make sure to like the video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. Yeah, at Fortis Fitness, we're always improving. Let me show you. Let me take you on a tour here because I want you, yes, you, you watching this video right now to join this gym. This gym, this very instant. What we got here is a ladder. What's a ladder used for, you might ask? It's for climbing up fucking stairs. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why should I need a ladder? Well, imagine you fall from two stories. You'll be dead. <laughs>